Yo, guys. Let's do the other path. We've secured our landing zone thanks to you, Commander. General Warfield believes an attack on the primary hive is suicide under current conditions. A diversionary attack to cripple part of the Zerg defenses will give us the opportunity we need. All right. You know, I've been thinking. It scares me more than the Zerg. We're gonna have to take out those Nidus worms before we can make a move on the main hive. Them Zerg bursting up under us wherever they please ain't exactly conducive to our health and well-being. Well, placing charges at the right spots in their Nidus network could flood the whole system with lava. What's your take, General? Well, it's dangerous. But it could work. Bigger problems steal their flyers. Even if we could move our units forward, we can't provide adequate air cover while the skies are contested. Any suggestions? Intel shows 80% of the Zerg flyers nest on an infested platform hanging in low orbit. If we take that down, we'll own the air. Hell, if this platform's so important, why not just nuke it? The nests are burrowed deep into the superstructure. Surface detonations won't do it. We'd need to land a strike force on the platform and take it apart piece by piece. It's your call, Reyna. Uh, attacking the platform. We can deal with the Nidus worms when they surface, but there ain't no way we can advance without air support. We gotta take that platform down. We came all the way down here just to head back into space. I only wish I could go with you. Give them hell, Ray. I swear to God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking. The Zerg flyers are using this old orbital platform as their base of operations. It's actually made up of several smaller platforms tethered together in geostationary orbit. The nests are too deep inside to destroy with a bombardment, but clearing the whole thing with ground forces will be costly. Adjutant, what's keeping that thing in orbit? Has it got power? Affirmative. Thermal readings indicate intense heat coming from the platforms. Core temperatures are kept stable by a series of coolant towers, still operational despite the Zerg infestation. Perfect. There's your answer, General. We get on board and destroy the coolant towers in each section. The reactors will go critical and take care of the Zerg for us. Excellent plan. You missed your calling, Rainer. You would have made an outstanding staff officer. I reckon I'm right where I'm meant to be, General. Now let's get saddled up and hit that platform. Kerrigan won't be giving us a second chance. I forgot to take myself offline and ten people messaged me. Yay. Uh, if they like detection, use cloaked units. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <clears throat> well, you don't have to expose the weaknesses of anything. It's it's actually pretty easy. The biggest problem will be Broodlords. Um, I, I had a slight issue with them when they, when they came down. They were kind of jerks to me. But don't worry about it too much. Huh. All right, let's go. Big job. What's going on? All right. Well, we're primarily going to be doing battle cruisers. Sure. I'm scanning to get a positive fix on all the towers. Ready. Got it. I'll mark the tower coordinates on your map. There you go. And they'll give you advice. Damn, Jimmy. This whole place is writhing. Once we blow those coolant towers, it won't matter. The platforms will burn up and kill everything on them. SCV ready. Alright, take put that there. That's why I have one space in between it. I don't even know why I built that add-on so fast. Don't really need it. Alright. And you need to go down here. Build some crap. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? That's a good place. I could actually probably just put like a supply depot on the way. Maybe I'll do that. It's not too late. Yeah, I always put it like a missile turret as well. That helps with the anti air. And anti air is extremely important. 
as well as battlecruisers. Battlecruisers even more important. Go, go, oh, go. sorry. And bring some more. Oh, damn. Need like so many Marines. Go ahead. Ten SCB Marines at least. Ready. Oh, I should have made, made it slightly back because then I could have it so. Oh, whatever. Anyways, and then you, then I build a hive mind emulator like right behind gotcha. it. So actually, supply depot would have been nice. I, could, I can make one here, but not there. Uh, actually, no. Now I can make it there. Now that I have that. And we got an engineering bay. We don't really need it though. Eh, sorry. Whoops. It's a basic. It's apparently basic. A hive mind emulator is is a basic structure. Keep that in mind. Uh, put them right here. And after that, you build a supply depot, and you will build a sub supply depot there. Uh oh crap. Uh oh. Uh, let's just go. This will swarm them. It actually only affects air, I just noticed. Whoops. You died. Also, medics need to be here. This is what I normally do. One medic there, one medic there, one medic goes down here, and kind of just patrols between them. Uh, no. You can go up there. And, th and what she does is she goes and heals the other medics if they need it. Alright, uh, oh, I need to make a fusion core reactor. And also, land one of those things. There we go. And we can make another one come down. And I always usually continue to build SCVs, because, uh, you know, SCVs can't live with them, can't live without them. There you go. And now we're good to go. These things are strong up some energy, and we'll have the opportunity to basically use it. It's always very, very nice. And that's that should basically do the gist of your defense. Uh, I usually go, though, for a Siege Breaker on a little bit later of a date, but it's not a big concern. Alright, let's uh, build you guys. And I just noticed I have this guy not doing anything. Building SCVs this entire time and not using all of them. How silly of me. Battlecruisers yet? Nope. Not quite. SCB ready. Oh, we can get these guys, basically. And I'm gonna keep two battlecruisers out first. Eh, Hells Angels, sure. War Pigs, no. Hells ready Angels first. Then Duskwings. And then Jackson's Revenge. What is it? Can't fuck with the Jackson's Revenge. Uh, nothing worth uh, hive emulating yet. Oh, there we go. Ah, something worth hive emulating. And we're good to go. We can also go just, uh... Let her heal all these guys up. I know you could have the medic in the bunker, I just see, see it as a waste of uh, medic, uh, bunker space. Plus she can't heal outside the thing, I think, so... Uh, well... Save up the rest of my money for this stuff. I usually get just banshees, but the banshees just follow. Uh, I didn't get any upgrades for them, really, so I don't really see the point. The stupid missile pods kind of suck anyways, and so do the, de the defense matrix I use mostly as a last resort to basically make the make my unit survive. And I think I am now short on supply depots. So, these guys can help. Uh, and battle cruisers coming up. Alright, and we get that guy. Who called in the fleet? This should be good enough to take out the first platform here. It should be, as I said. It, it may not be, though. I mean, he did we did build those, yeah. We're kind of going to need science vessels, though. Now, you don't really have to put the effort into killing all this crap. Commander, you should stay away from those tunnel entrances. According to the sensors, they're chock full of mutilisks. Alright, let's just go you matter the crap out of this. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to finish it off. Hey, get out of here. Reactor's melting down. Move out. We're moving. We're moving. Get out of there, sir. Oh, I forgot these guys. Done and done. 
Uh, alright. Let's just go here so he goes repairs it. Don't waste your energy. Oh. Oh, it's perfect. No, my missile turret. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna regret doing that. It's getting ready to blow. There she goes. Get clear. We're not even near it. Alright, let's bring down first siege breakers and war pigs. I didn't even get bothered with devil dogs, so no regrets there. Uh, okay, let's do this one, and then we'll do that one. And we'll put these all these guys in the bunker. And you can go right here, and then siege right there. Signs of heavy air defenses on that platform. Squadron on Oh yeah, okay. And now we go, need to go build you. And you can just screw off. Oh, and I forgot to go research. Uh, oh, we also get gas and crap here, so I might as well bring our ultralist to do it. He'll handle the job. He's cool for it, bros. I, I, I still didn't bring the uh, SUV with me. Not like it's a huge problem. And that will be basically just for uh, SCV-ness. Which we're actually going to bring two down there. Because I really need gas. Well, actually not anymore as much. So actually I, I think we can go start building some more battlecruisers. Ah, oh, supply depots. My old nemesis. Our SCVs are under attack. Really? Uh oh, get in the bunker. Hey, you're gonna repair that, aren't you? Get a brain out of there. All right. Uh. A lot of ground defenses on that platform, sir. Yeah, I know. There's ground defenses. There's air defenses, and this is like no detection. No, wait, th that is detection. I don't fucking know. I don't really care. Alright, and go drop off a nice little orbital thing here. And then come down all, all the way down here. Actually, I wouldn't mind having another SCV come down. Come on yeah, down, buddy. Whatever. I basically need it just for... Not enough energy. He is, he is... Okay, good, he is mining. What is it? Uh, I I primarily use it just for these kinds of purposes. I need more. I actually I don't think I actually need that that other starport. Ah, oh, it works. The other one's coming. Go repair these guys. Oh no, they're now they're repairing them. Oh, nice. Let me just make sure they're done. And... Orbital Fortress. Orbital Command. Whatever. Orbital Fortress happens to be what I called the uh, Orbital Command in my minigame thing. And I always like to put it one hive, light, hive mind emulator, because that actually counters Broodlords, believe it or not. Alright. Let's head back to base. Go grab one more Battlecruiser. Mineral field depleted. Damn. I love my Ultralisk. He is mine. Mineral field depleted. Alright, and... Yeah, the rest of you can just... Here we go, one second. Alright, when you're done with that, go mine. Ah, that's a lot of battlecruisers. Uh, you know what? Might be a good idea to call in the last of these guys. And make him go follow some just some battleship. And actually, I'd like I like some more. Oh wait, did they just die? Oh no, they did. They're okay. Oh, they're about to. Uh, 
Wow, oh, these guys are not smart. It's a shame I don't get those armor upgrades. I love those. Where are those science vessels? Oh, there they are. No, I didn't want to group you. Yeah, just go over here. Am I doing two more? Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Hey, I got 200, 200. Oh, and I'm done with this, so... So normally I just like to attack move like right into the center. You can also just go straight for it. It doesn't really freaking matter. I mean, this is all like anti-air kind of crap anyway. Uh, like none of this like... It's anti-ground. Go defense matrix Saka. And we're done. Go here. And actually you can go start building this. What's going on? Wait, wait, I didn't kill it. Fuck. You no no. One second. Go Banshees. Fucking hate you. There we go. Yeah, move it out. Don't kill my crap. I got nothing on that platform, right? Good. Let's go dick around over here. I just need the gas. Well, not really, but anymore. Now that I think about it. Receiving headquarters. That should about do it. Look at that thing. What has science done? Warning. Unidentified Zerg organism detected inbound. Largest on record. That's the largest. Damn. That's all we need. We better take that thing down, or it's gonna cause some havoc. Yeah, he's not that hard. Especially when you have like a thousand battle cruisers like me. Oh really? Alright, well let's just uh wait for him I guess here, I don't know. Where's the other SV? There we go. One, two, three, four, and then I mine and we're done. Okay. We're not in any real danger anymore. Actually I never even took that one out. I thought he did. Oh well. Also, you can go, just stick around here, go get that stuff. You through. And I'm just gonna fucking get out of the, the shit out of him. Done. Good game. <laughs> she heavily damaged one battle cruiser. Okay, and. Oh. Oh, I'd use the little missile pods. Pointless. As I said, it, it was kind of a pointless upgrade. I could have done Banshees instead. Maybe that would have been more helpful. Like the Banshee little thingy. Who the bomb. The fleet? Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. What? Gas. What? Insufficient Bullshit. Gas. Not there we go. Minerals. There's some stuff over here. And with this, I'll probably use that to continue upgrades. Because knowing these units, they're going to be slow as hell. And also probably work on some Vikings. Eventually. It's supposed to have strong anti-air capabilities. Oh, I don't have enough energy for that one. What do I do? Oh, I'll just irradiate him. Wait, are you still attacking him? No. Oh. I'll just go rape them all. I don't really care. Oh, they're done. Oh, Reddy had actually killed them. How long does it last? Oh, 30 units? 30 seconds? That's a lot of times. 
I don't know how we still didn't finish it off. Get out of there, sir. We're getting out. Oh, still, still no use for the hive mind emulators just as of yet. Oh, you fucking killed the battle cruiser! Oh, you're ripping bitches. Okay, we need to get out of here. There you go. And they could go meet up right here. Have the have a party right there. I always love having all these units. Yeah. So any second now. Any second. There it goes. Good job on taking out those towers. Did my did that ultralisk win? Or did he die? If he died then. Yeah, he died. What a but. Okay, you're just gonna go down there. Because I don't know why I want those minerals, but I do. Alright, we're gonna get the last one. The last one's pretty easy. I want a hive mind emulate you. Can't target your own units. Damn. Stop through my plan. Mineral field depleted. I still wonder how they how they differentiate between Protoss units. Mineral field depleted. Because I don't think there's any kind of Protoss flag on units. Upgrade complete. Or maybe it's organic? No, but then zealots could be yeah, taken over be by hive mind yeah. emulator. Upgrade. Never tried it. Ah well. I guess they assume you'll be done most of them by then. What's it exactly say for the description? Zerg units, okay. Well, someday we'll try. Alright, we all we got all this crap. More battle cruisers. No, must take up rest of food. 200, 200 army. So I could just you know rape train this entire thing, or we could just go stop Yamato, all Yamato. There we go, and that's how you finish a mission with style. That should about do it. So you don't lose a single unit to a platform explosion. Wow, that's so hard. Uh, and you complete it on hard in less than twenty-five minutes. Oh, twenty-five seventeen, really? I haven't been dicking around all that time. I would have done it. Whatever. <laughs> So it's kind of like defending bases, going after resources and shit. Dag Nemet.
Good to see you on your feet, General. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I brought you boys a present. Zell Naga artifacts been assembled. I hope to God it does what we think it does. Damn straight. Bedding our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years, I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fueling, the one thing I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. Some things are just worth fighting for. Hooray. It's pretty much the same as the other outcome. I think all the all this stuff is the same. I'm gonna do it anyways in case you didn't see the other video. We spent a lot of time holding down all those pieces. Now it's all together. This thing gives me the willy something awful. I know what you mean. When I look at it, it's like I can hear voices in my head. The sooner we're done with this thing, the better. Agreed. Right now, this artifact is the most important weapon in the universe. And we're going to use it. Yeah, I just wish the damn thing came with an instruction manual. For all we know, we could be upsetting the entire space-time continuum. Easy, Tychus. This ain't science fiction. Final push. You ready for this? That I am, partner. Hell, we're gonna be the guys that kill the Queen of Blades. Genuine heroes. Old man's might even give you a pardon. Get one thing straight, Tychus. If Valerian's right, and this artifact can turn Kerrigan human again, I'm taking her away from this place. You hear what I'm saying? I hear you, Jimmy. And I know you wanna believe she can come back. But after all the misery she's caused, well, let's just say some folks don't deserve second chances. I'll be the judge of that. All these years, Minsk made you out to be the devil himself. But I've seen you put it on the line for men who'd otherwise be hunting you down. Your Emperor's the one should be brought to justice. All I ever wanted was for folks to live free. Charging into battle with a stranger. Taking enemy fire, holding the line, shoulder to shoulder, that's the great equalizer of war. It's an honor to fight at your side. I sure do appreciate that, General. Alright, and uh, that's pretty much it. Never thought I'd come back to this hellhole. Yeah, uh, as I expected, pretty much the same, but the mission will be, oh, well, this news, so we can see that. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> this is a sad day for us here at UNN. I regret to inform you that last night, Donnie Vermillion had himself committed to the Dominion Mental Health Center here on Corval. While the nature of his abrupt mental breakdown remains unknown, we do know that he was clad only in his socks and rumored to be in possession of Emperor Menk's manifesto and a pound of peanut butter. We wish you all the best, Donnie, and hope for your speedy recovery. In the meantime, I'll be taking over as chief anchor here at UNN. For UNN, I'm Kate Lockwell. Woo! 
Alright, well, that's pretty much it for today, so next time we're gonna finish it. So, see you later. Bye.